The Big Lie Conspiracy Theory. The Big Lie Conspiracy Theory captures President Trump's false claims that the 2020 presidential election was stolen by the Democrats. By framing Democrats and the deep state as the antagonists in this Manichaean struggle, the rhetoric around the big lie works to degrade levels of trust held by the demos in democratic institutions. Trump's tweets working in tandem with right-wing media was a key tool that manufactured dissent amongst Trump's core support. And this spiraled into an insurrection on January 6th, 2021. However, whilst the big lie has mostly been framed as an issue playing upon ideological tension, it has also played significantly upon racial tensions too, because implicated within the mobilization of Trump's core support in the storming of the Capitol was the structural power of white rage. In attempting to prove voter fraud, Trump pointed to cities won by Biden with large African-American populations such as Philadelphia, Detroit and Atlanta. These claims functioned to delegitimize these votes as illegal and thus attempted to form an obstacle to political participation of ethnic minorities. Therefore, the threat to the big lie poses to democratic institutions cannot be solely reduced down to increased levels of mistrust. Furthermore, the imbrication of the big lie and political oppression on racial lines is not only within the executive's decision to undermine the election result, but also within the legislature's reaction to the big lie. The 147 congressional Republicans who voted to overturn the election's result obtusely performed white rage. However, on a more subtle level, the Senate Democrats' response to the big lie was also a performance of white rage. Their introduction of a bill which threatened to remove certain protections afforded to social media companies, largely ignored the presence of white rage in Trump's conspiratorial rhetoric. The framing of the bill undermined the importance of political participation of racial identities in US politics by suggesting that the threat to democracy posed by the big lie was not white rage, but of unfettered speech. So not only is the big lie imbricated with white rage, but the issue framing of the big lie is also implicated with white rage. Both of which degrade the healthiness of democratic attitudes within US politics. <laughs>